the topic of discussion that we are going to deal right now is we are going to talk about lateral ventricles now lateral ventricles these are two in number okay you can see right here what is this okay here you can see this is our coronal section right coronal section here you can see what are these two structures these are our lateral ventricles right lateral ventricles okay now before getting into this our coronal coronal section i would like to take you to our sagittal section right here we'll know the basic thing about our this lateral ventricle and then what we'll do is we'll go individually on its parts and on its extent roof floor medially laterally what are the structure that are contributing to it that thing so now without delay let's begin our discussion okay now lateral ventricle yes i have already said these are two in number right right one on right side and another on left side okay what is lateral ventricles lateral ventricles are cavity of telencephalon or we can say cerebral hemisphere it has cavity it is the cavity of what our um, cerebral hemisphere that that is our telencephalon now okay now what are the uh, what are the structures that we need to know on this the thing that we need to know right here is okay now i'm going to highlight here this this area this area that i'm highlighting right now this okay this is our what this is our lateral ventricles this is our lateral ventricle and and these structure this in green it is our third ventricle uh, and here you can see this structure this is our fourth ventricle so now we are what we are concerned about this much we are concerned about this much now in this lateral ventricle one is our body you can see there is our body it is centrally located centrally located another thing is our anterior horn you can see anterior horn here this is our anterior horn of lateral ventricle and this anterior horn what it will do is it will be ascending toward what frontal lobe frontal lobe and there is our if and uh, there is our anterior horn similarly there is our what posterior horn right and posterior horn and talking about posterior horn it is exceeding to what it is exceeding to occipital lobe at the back occipital lobe now moving further we have another horn and that is our inferior horn and it is the largest horn it is the largest horn and it will be exceeding towards what temporal lobe okay we talked about what we talked about body that is centrally placed we talked about anterior horn anterior horn is what it is ascending toward frontal lobe we talked about posterior horn posterior horn is what it is exceeding toward occipital lobe similarly we talked about inferior uh, what inferior horn and inferior horn is the largest horn and it is exceeding toward temporal lobe so okay now after uh, learning some of the basic thing about our this lateral ventricles we will go in detail about all this body anterior uh, anterior horn posterior horn uh, inferior horn in detail about these things i mean we'll be talking about in their uh, roof their floor we'll be talking about um, medial wall lateral wall of all these structures okay now okay now another thing that i would like to mention right here is as i've shown you earlier that um, what we are concerned with this much right okay let me draw it with this color okay we are concerned with what this much what is this this is our lateral ventricles now this lateral ventricle as you can see this lateral ventricle this is structure this is connected with our what this third ventricle it is connected with third ventricle with one structure and that is interventricular foramen what is this this is interventricular foramen or foramen of monroe right for foramen of monroe okay this lateral ventricle connected to our this third ventricle okay now this third ventricle this third ventricle is what it is connected to our what fourth ventricle you can see right here it is our fourth ventricle it is connected to fourth ventricle by what by another structure and that is what that is our um, aqueduct right foramen of aqueduct okay okay now here as you can see okay now let's move forward let's move forward mm, okay here okay now this is what this is our sagittal section right sagittal section and in sagittal section it is very difficult to look the uh, roof floor uh, medial lateral relations okay now let's move to our coronal section now this is our coronal section okay what you can see right here what you can see right here is this is what this is our what lateral ventricles two lateral ventricles right you can see these are our two lateral ventricles right two lateral ventricles and here this is what this is our third ventricle 
what is this this is our third ventricle d is lateral ventricle and third ventricle they are connected by what foramen of monroe or interventricular foramen okay now let's talk about yes uh, now we need to talk about what we need to talk about the structure that will form what that will form the roof of lateral ventricle okay now here the <coughs> The larger, larger structure that is contributing to roof of um, uh, what our lateral ventricle is this, which you can see in yellow light, yellow color. That what is this? This is our corpus callosum. Now, corpus callosum, right? Corpus callosum. Now, this corpus callosum, it what? It provides what? It provides structure um, contributing to roof, roof of our lateral ventricles. Now, moving further, <coughs> if you'll see medially, right? Medially, there is one small slit between these lateral ventricles. Now, what is this small slit? It is called what? Septum, what? Pellucidum. What it is called? It is called septum pellucidum. Now, if you we'll go to find out literal meaning of pellucidum, it is what? The pellucidum means, means translucent. What is means? Translucent. So, this septum pellucidum, the name uh, septum pellucidum, it denotes what? Um, it denotes that this this structure which is present medially between these two lateral ventricle is very thin it is very thin okay okay we talked about what we talked about uh, the roof structure right the roof structure what is this roof structure made up of it is made up of corpus callosum and what is our medially uh, present between two lateral ventricles it is what it is our what is the structure it is septum pellucidum okay now moving further moving further if you look carefully below this what below uh, the lower edge of our this septum pellucidum if you'll see below the edge of septum pellucidum what is this this is our septum pellucidum right a thin structure present medially between lateral ventricles now below just the edge of this um, um, what our let um, septum pellucidum what we'll find we'll find what we'll find uh, two nail head like structure nail head like structure if you'll see here fully, you will find what two nail head like structure, and these two nail head like structure is called columns of fornix. What it is called? It is called column of fornix or fornix. Okay. Now here it is not clear in this diagram, but if you'll see here, there are what there are rough uh, structures around it, right? Around it, <coughs> rough structures on the floor. <clears throat> and these obviously this fornix uh, this rough structure on the floor they will contribute to what they will contribute to floor of what our lateral ventricles so this rough structure they are which are present on the floor what are these structure these are our choroid plexus what are these these are our choroid plexus and these are the structure that will contribute in formation uh, in forming uh, csf cerebrospinal fluid okay now okay now okay now moving further moving further if you'll see the if you'll just look toward this lateral side i mean laterally we talked about medially medially septum pellucidum it is present that's all right but now moving laterally what we'll see is we'll see several structures right uh things that we'll find several structure the lateral most structure that we'll find is it is what it is caudate nucleus caudate nucleus what is this structure this structure is our caudate nucleus okay caudate nucleus this caudate nucleus okay now caudate nucleus is present here this caudate nucleus what it will contribute it will contribute um, to what um, it will contribute to our uh, lateral wall right lateral wall lateral wall okay now below this uh, caudate nucleus now uh, below this caudate nucleus if you come all the way down you'll find thalamus right thalamus the area of thalamus okay this thalamus it forms the floor of um, lateral ventricle obviously it is the area of thalamus then it will form what it will come from the floor here is our lateral ventricle so this is the floor region it will contribute to floor of lateral ventricle and along with the floor we have mentioned that this is what this is our third ventricle it will what it will also form what it will form the lateral wall of third ventricle so this is the importance of thalamus right here thalamus okay now between this um, caudate nucleus and thalamus there are other two structure that we need to know the one important vein that is thalamo stride vein what is this vein this is uh, thalamo stride vein the name thalamus it is between thalamus and our stri terminalis so the name is thalamo stride vein so this is also important structure that we need to know okay now we talked about what we talked about all these things right okay let's recall again at the roof what we have we have is corpus callosum right now corpus callosum is forming the roof 
at the medially what we have we have got septum pellucidum laterally we have got several structures like caudate nucleus uh, striae terminalis we have got thalamo striated vein we have got thalamus right and um, in the floor what we have what we are finding on the edge of this is uh, septum pellucidum we have got fornix column of fornix similarly the rotary structure that are choroid plexus so this is what this is a brief about what a brief about our this uh, coronal section of uh, what our coronal section of our lateral ventricles now moving further down what we'll do is we will try to what uh, draw a schematic diagram of coronal section of this lateral ventricles and here we are right okay yes we saw this structure what is this this is our corpus callosum right what it is running from one cerebral hemisphere to another cerebral cerebral hemisphere and it is the largest what it is the largest um, corpus callosum it is the largest commissure commissure of fiber right it is the largest commissure of fiber so okay it is forming what it is forming the roof it is forming the roof okay now another structure that we need to know here is medially right the thin sheet that we talked about is it is what septum pellucidum we talked about septum pellucidum at the between and these are the area of what uh, lateral ventricles we know that right here it is present lateral ventricles are present right here now here the um, uh, adjoining in adjoining edge of uh, these our septum pellucidum we will find what fornix column of fornix on each side that will contribute in forming floor right now now again moving further down what we have is we had what uh, this rough structure now this rough structure was what it was doing is it was just um, forming uh, the floor of lateral ventricle as you can see it is forming the floor of lateral ventricle and also it will extend all the way uh, to the roof of what to the roof of our this third ventricle so what is this structure this is core uh, choroid plexus and it helps in formation of csf cerebrospinal fluid that's all okay now moving further right moving further what we have we had what we had now what is this our thalamus right thalamus and this thalamus what it was doing it was forming the floor of our this lateral ventricle and it was also forming the lateral border of our this third ventricle so we talked about thalamus and the other structure that will contribute to floor of our this lateral ventricle they are uh, the lateral mossy structure that is caudate nucleus caudate nucleus now below that we have got striate terminalis striate terminalis below that we have got thalamo striate vein right thalamo striate vein so this was what this was a brief introduction about what lateral ventricles now if we look individually that means if we look toward the different parts such as the central part if you look uh, individually toward the central part if you look toward this anterior horn if you look towards this posterior horn and inferior horn now what we need to do is we'll just slowly uh, we'll just gradually just recall or we'll just try to what we'll try to understand uh, their extent roof floor medial wall and lateral wall right okay now before getting into this right i would like to take you toward what this corpus callosum okay now if you'll see what is this this is our corpus callosum right what is this this is our corpus callosum which is forming the roof right which is forming the roof now this corpus callosum it is what it is consisting of several parts such as rostrum is here right rostrum and zenu it is close to our anterior horn similarly you'll find the body yes the body it is uh, close to body only body okay and what we have is we have splenium right it is close to what it is close to our posterior horn okay we are clear about what now genu and frustum body and splenium right splenium okay now let's move toward this anterior horn now talking about no let's talk about what central now let's talk about the central um, or body body of our what lateral ventricle talking about the body of lateral ventricle the thing that we need to know here is talking about the body of lateral ventricle let's talk initially about extent right extent talking about extent right this our this body region it is the cavity of what it is the cavity of parietal bone parietal bone right it extends uh, it, it it covers the cavity of parietal bone if you remember what are these lateral ventricles these are what these are the these um, are the cavity of telencephalon or cerebral hemisphere under that we are talking about parietal bone um, parietal lobe sorry i wrote bone parietal what parietal lobe the cavity of parietal lobe is covered by what central or body part of our lateral ventricles 
now talking anteriorly now what are present anterior to our the central part or body part okay this is our body part obviously anterior is this one right anterior is this one and posterior is this one okay the roof is above and below is what outflow okay now talking anteriorly what is present anteriorly anteriorly this is the structure that is present and it is what it is our interventricular uh, ventricular foramen or foramen of mondo and posteriorly what we have posteriorly we have what is this here we have what here we have what we have corpus callosum and talking specifically what we have we have splenium here posteriorly we have got what splenium of corpus callosum we have got splenium of corpus callosum so this was about what this was about extent of our this what body part okay now talking about roof obviously roof is also formed by what it is also formed by what our corpus callosum right and floor talking about floor uh, what is what is forming the floor the floor is formed by what all the structure that we discussed below here right here these these are forming what the floor right these are forming the floor such as caudate nucleus striate terminalis thalamo striate vein thalamus and choroid plexus this will this will what this will form the floor of central or body part okay now moving further um what will form the medial okay here we're talking about what will form the medial wall the medial wall will be formed by our this structure only what is this structure septum pellucidum and talking lateral wall lateral wall there is no lateral wall right here right there is no lateral wall in the body region because it is present right here <coughs> okay so let's not talk about the lateral wall now moving toward anterior horn and if you'll see this anterior horn what you'll see we'll talk about what we'll talk about its extent right what is this anterior horn it is the cavity of frontal lobe frontal lobe and anterior to this anterior horn what is there there is the part of what the part of corpus callosum and that is what genu and rostrum if you remember what are these this these this part of what corpus callosum what are these these are genu and rostrum so anteriorly what are present there genu and rostrum genu and rostrum of corpus callosum and posteriorly posteriorly right posteriorly what will have uh, what will be present posteriorly okay this is the anterior horn right here is the anterior structure then this is our the posterior structure so the posterior structure is our interventricular foramen right interventricular foramen or foramen of mondo okay this was about anterior horn let's again talk about the extent of anterior horn okay what is uh, it is, these these are uh, the cavity of what frontal lobe right and anteriorly what is present there uh, genu and rostrum of corpus callosum and posteriorly what is present there there is uh, the presence of what the ventricular foramen interventricular foramen or foramen of mandrum and talking about the roof what are present on the roof the roof is formed by corpus callosum again right and talking about the floor what what are present on the floor but here of anterior horn here the corpus callosum will come up to right here so the floor is also formed by what um it will be formed by the rostrum of corpus callosum and talking about medial wall the medial wall is formed by our this septum pellucidum okay now moving to our another and the another is our what posterior horn now talking about this posterior horn okay at first the uh, extent right it is the cavity of what it is the cavity since it is present backward it is the cavity of occipital lobe occipital lobe okay and it lies behind what if you will see carefully it lies behind splenium of corpus callosum it lies behind this splenium of corpus callosum that's all okay now talking about its roof now the roof of corp this our this posterior horn it is formed by corpus callosum itself corpus callosum we know the corpus callosum is extended like this okay okay now talking about its floor how it is formed the floor the floor is formed by again we will just go toward all the structure that we discussed these structures this will form the floor right and talking about now the inferior horn talking about the inferior horn this is our inferior horn this is the largest horn right this is the largest horn it will what it will um, what it, will, it is the cavity of temporal uh, lobe temporal lobe